Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to talk about the relegation zone of the Premier League. Um, some key facts that I think how many points you need to be saved this season, prepared to help, you know, what's gone on, um, how many points certain teams have got, um, you know, some of these teams that I'm going to talk about ain't got the maximum worth of points I personally think to stand this division. Um, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first, first thing I'm going to say is, the points for safety I think is 30 this year. I think the bottom teams, uh, especially like down 20th with Huddersfield and teams like that, I just think you're going to need around 30 points. Um, Obviously, the, the fixtures have started to return. Uh, teams were playing their return leg. So, that's what I've said roughly ever since December, November time. Um, you know, it's going to be one of them things where um, other teams are going to have to be really good top teams um, or top six or top four to actually narrow that gap even further. Um, but you, you can tell what team we're going to start with anyway, um, but it's Huddersfield. Huddersfield are currently on 11 points um, as we stand. Now, the games that I predicted them, they have to win, not predicted, like, they have to win to even get a chance of safety, is Everton away on the 29th of Jan, uh, Everton, sorry, on the 29th of Jan, Newcastle on the 23rd of Feb, Brighton on the 2nd of March, uh, Palace on the 30th, 30th of March, and Southampton on the 12th. Um, so you got 14, 17, 20, 20 round about 26 points. Um, and as I've said in this video, that's not enough points to stay up. Um, obviously there might be other fixtures you look at or there might other be there might be other fixtures you look that you can do and um, cause one or two shocks maybe. But you know, I don't think they're gonna stay up. Uh, the next one I'm gonna talk to you about is Fulham who's currently in uh, yeah, Fulham who's currently in 19th and they got 14 points. Um, now, for them to stay, they've got to beat Brighton, beat Palace, beat Southampton, beat Bournemouth and beat Cardiff. Um, so, for them to do that, to stay up, and they will have enough points, they will pass that 30 gap. Um, so, you know, Fulham ain't out of safety just yet. Um, the next one's Cardiff, um, and they've got Bournemouth to beat on the 2nd of February, Southampton, Brighton on the 16th of March, they play Southampton on the 9th of Feb, uh, Burnley on the 13th of April, and then Palace on the 4th of May, so pushing towards the end of the season. Um, you know, Nigel will not, terrible news that's gone on this past week. Um, but they still have a job to do. Um, can I see them doing it? Yes. Um, but it is going to be really touching though, I think, for Bournemouth, uh, for Cardiff. Um, the next one I'm going to do is Newcastle. Now, I put Newcastle down to these fixtures purely because of their team and the way they're going at this stage in time. Um, they got to beat Huddersfield on the 23rd of Feb, Burnley on the 26th of Feb, Everton on the 9th of March, Southampton on the 20th of April and Fulham on the 12th of May. Um, so, you know, it's going to be yet again touch and go for Newcastle. Um, all of these fixtures I've put down, I've done it narrowly, so 
Except for one team who's probably not sure it is, can reach that 30 point gap. Um, the next one is Burnley. Um, I'll put them down Southampton for the 2nd of Feb, Brighton for the 9th of Feb, Newcastle for the 26th of Feb, Palace for the 2nd of March, and Cardiff for the 13th of April. Um, so, you know, as I've said in this video, all teams are capable of reaching that 30 points, um, except from one, which obviously is Huddersfield. Uh, so, guys, I just thought I'd do this to give you a bit of an update for all you fans sitting in the relegation zone and just slightly starting to give up. Um, you know, I've made these fixtures pure for you to win that I think you can win as well. So, guys, at the end of the video, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.